Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Senior Ruth Baseball. Tom Nappy alongside Mike Terosian on the call, as today Hopkinton welcomes in Franklin, and we are just about set to get underway on the mound for Hopkinton. It's going to be Vinny Purpura getting the start today. As stepping into the batter's box is Coleman Flynn. Hopkinton is 6-3 and 1 on the season. Franklin 2-7 and 1. The last time these two teams met back on July 8th ended in a 3-3 eight inning tie as we are underway. And the first pitch is going to be slightly outside. 1 and 0 oh, as per the usual with the COVID rules. The home plate umpire standing behind the pitcher's mound. And we'll take you through the Hopkinton field in just a moment as this is a foul ball up the left side, one and one. Vinny Papora on the mound for the Hillers. Ronnie Sheamus behind the plate. Over at first base, it's Austin Summers. Dylan Locke at second base. Ethan DeYoung, the shortstop. Connor Kelly at third base. Drew Rancatori in left field. As there's a strike. Center field is Tommy Ambrosoni. Right field, Nick Skiba. For the Hopkinton Hillers Senior Ruth Baseball Team, as Purpura is set to deliver the 1 2. Swing and a miss, out number one. And that'll bring up Jerry Collins, the second baseman. Let's take a look at the Franklin batting order. Coleman Flynn led things off with a strikeout. Jerry Collins, the second baseman, hitting second. Lead him. Uh, Liam Laravie, the center fielder, hitting third. Jonathan Turner, the right fielder, hitting cleanup. Sean Early, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Jacob Morgan, the extra hitter, hitting sixth. First pitch to Collins is a strike. The pitcher, Ryan Padula, hitting seventh. Jake Blaney, the shortstop, hitting eighth. Thomas Ellen, the catcher, hitting ninth. And the first baseman, Eddie Roderick, hitting tenth. One and one is the count, of course, in senior Ruth Ball. It's a 10-man batting order. So you could have all position players hit, including the pitcher, or you can have what they call an extra hitter. The Hillers, they got 11 in action in the starting lineup. Of course, only 10 can hit. Austin Summers, the first baseman, will not hit. Instead, Jack Breslin is an extra hitter, as there is another K by Propora. The Hillers throw around the diamond, two away. Liam Laravie to the plate. As I welcome in Mike Terosian, Mike, a beautiful day out there today for some baseball. Yes, it is. It's nice and believe it or not, even on this uh, turf field, how cool it is. There's a very slight breeze, but the sun's going down. It's looking nice. And this is hit foul off the Franklin dugout. And a little bit of uh, humidity in the air. Not as humid as yesterday, however. Yeah, yesterday was uh, no day to be outside on a, on a artificial field. Fortunately, it was a night game yesterday, and it really cooled off at night, so it wasn't too bad until the sprinklers came on in the fifth inning and <laughs> ended up ending the game a little bit earlier than expected. But I'm sure it felt good out there. It certainly <laughs> did. The HCAM Weather Center reading at 86 degrees right now. As Purpura delivers. Pitch a little bit high. And the umpire is calling a balk, it looks like. Saying the pitcher never came to his set. Coach Simos doesn't like the call. One and one is the count. Since there's no one on base, really no harm done there. No. Wind up and the pitch. And that's fouled away off the backstop. One and two. Mike Tarosia demanding the camera today. We'll also add some commentary throughout the broadcast. Mike, it must feel good to be watching a live baseball game oh, once again. Yeah, I mean, just running a camera instead of from my dining room like we usually do on the hangout hour. That's fouled away. Count remains one and two. Well, it's good to see the Hillers high school team essentially getting back together and playing some summer ball. They brought back the senior Ruth program after many inactive years just to get these kids together. And there's yes. a strike, three straight strikeouts by Vinny Prepora in the first inning. To the bottom of the first we go. We are scoreless at Hopkinton High School on HCAM. 
Bottom of the first inning. Let's take you through the Hopkinton Hillers senior Ruth batting order. Tommy Ambrosoni, the center fielder, will lead things off. Ronnie Seamus, the catcher, hitting second. Drew Rancatori, the left fielder, hitting third. Alex Barker Hook, the DH, hitting cleanup. Connor Kelly, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Jack Breslin, the extra hitter, hitting sixth. Dylan Locke, the second baseman, hitting seventh. Ethan DeYoung, the shortstop, hitting eighth. Nick Skiba, the right fielder, hitting ninth. Benny Papora, the pitcher, hitting tenth. And Austin Summers, the odd man out of the batting order, playing first base. Wind up and the pitch, it's a bunt foul. It's Ryan Padula on the mound for Franklin. His battery mate is going to be Thomas Ellen, who is behind home plate. We'll get you the rest of the Franklin diamond in just a moment. As this is up the right side, fair ball, takes a couple rolls and the throw to first, no problem for the second baseman, Jerry Collins, four to three for out number one. Ronnie Sheamus will come up to the plate. So Ryan Padula, the pitcher, Thomas Ellen, the catcher, Eddie Roderick at first base for Franklin, Jerry Collins at second base, John Blaney, the shortstop, Sean Early, the third baseman, will take you left to right after this pitch. Padula set to deliver to Sheamus. Check swing, and he held one and oh. Left to right, Coleman Flynn, Liam Larravee, and Jonathan Turner for Franklin. Sheamus awaits the pitch, and he gets a piece of this one in his center field. It goes, and that is a one-out single for the catcher. That'll bring up Drew Rancatori. Coming into the week, Sheamus was hitting a 143. And he has been solid behind the plate for Hopkinton. And this is up the right side, right to the first baseman, to second for one, back to first, not in time, but they do get the force out. A three to six force out. Allows Rankatori to reach. Two away, Alex Barker hook. The DH will step in. Hopkinton captured a 7-0 victory in Framingham yesterday in a sprinkler shortened game. As this is up the left side, that's a fair ball. Here comes Rankatori over to third. Are they going to wave him around? Yes, they are. He's going to try to score, and he will. One to nothing, Hillers, an RBI double for Alex Barker Hook. And that'll bring up Connor Kelly, the third baseman. A good piece of hitting there, and it just stayed fair along the line. Alex Barker Hook also went, had a hit yesterday and scored a run in that five run first inning in Framingham for the Hillers. And Kelly will get a piece of this one. Up the middle it goes into center field. Barker Hook being waved around. Here he comes and he will score. Two nothing Hillers, an RBI single for Connor Kelly. Hopkinson picking up right where they left off in Framingham yesterday. The bats making some noise. It's nice to see uh, see these bats swinging like they are, and they're placing these balls perfectly in the field. Checking at first, runner back safe. And Kelly's going to get a piece of this over to first base. There it goes. And that'll drop into right field. And here comes Breslin to score. And he will score. So it looks like they flip-flop Jack Breslin and Connor Kelly in the batting order. But either way, they both get the job done. And that is an RBI double for Kelly to make it three to nothing as Breslin came around to score. And that'll bring up Dylan Locke, the second baseman. Two outs, three runs in for the Hillers. I was getting confused looking at my lineup. I'm like, why is Kelly at the plate again? <laughs> 
Lineup and the pitch. There's a strike, go and one. A nice 2-0 rally for the Hillers. Let's see if they can continue. Runner taking off, throw to third, not in time. A nice stolen base by the speedy Connor Kelly. There's the 1-1, one -one. upstairs. Dylan Locke hitting a 333 on this season. Six at bats total. Padula set to deal. A little high there, says the umpire. Three and one is the count on Locke. Upstairs, and Locke draws the walk. Runners on the corners, two outs, three runs in for Hopkinton. Ethan DeYoung, the shortstop to the plate. Inside. Well, the Hillers hitting-wise started off the uh, senior root season maybe a little slow, but now the bats, the last few games really picking up as this is up the middle, takes a couple of hops. Can he beat it? Oh, yes. He is going to be just out. It looked like he was going to beat that one out, but a nice play there by the third baseman to get him. But after one inning of play, the Hillers plate three runs. We head to the top of the second inning on H cam. Top of the second inning, due up for Franklin, four, five, and six in the batting order. Jonathan Turner, the right fielder. Sean Early, the third baseman. Jacob Morgan, the extra hitter. And we've got some fans out in the outfield area watching the game. Of course, properly social distancing. Tom Nappy on the call alongside Mike Terosian. As Turner steps in, the Hillers leading Franklin three to nothing. That first pitch to Turner is in there for a strike, grabs the inner corner. Purpura delivers, there's strike two. And Purpura hit him with that one, so Turner will get the free pass to first base. That'll bring up Sean Early, the third baseman. Taking a look at the stats for Vinny Pura. This is actually his first time on the mound this season for the senior Ruth team. Sean Early steps in. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Hillers as a team, a 186 ERA. A pitch inside, one and one. One of the premier teams in the Senior Ruth League with a 6-3 and one record. We're certainly looking forward to some postseason action as well as this is fouled away. One and two. Hillers led by head coach Steven Simos. Franklin led by head coach Michael Langmayer. And coach Simos, I'm sure, very happy to give his high school team an opportunity to play together. Of course, they would have preferred to play in the spring, but they at least get to be together on the diamond for some summer ball. 2-2 pitch. There's strike three. Fourth strikeout for Purpura. One away. That'll bring up Jacob Morgan. Jacob Morgan, the extra hitter for Franklin as the lefty steps in. Slight lead over at first base by Turner. Check in, slides back safe. The bleachers blocked off here at the turf fields, but 
fans certainly invited to come and bring their picnic chairs and watch the game while socially distancing as the throw gets away from the first baseman, Summers, and advancing up to second is Turner. An errant throw there by the pitcher. Runner in scoring position with one out for Franklin. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Fouled away. Oh, and two. Purpura working from the stretch. Line up and the pitch. A little low, says the umpire. One and two is the count. Papriara delivers, fouled away. Turner with a slight lead over at second base. An overthrow allowed him to advance. That's fouled away. Still pretty sunny out there on the diamond. The outfield with a little shade. But those lights should be coming on relatively soon. Papiara delivers. Inside, two and two. Four strikeouts so far for Vinny. Hoping for another one right here. There it is, two away. How many strikeouts is that now? That is five. All outs for Franklin so far have been via the K. As Ryan Padula will step in. And he couldn't hold there, 0 oh and 1. Down low. One and one. <laughs> Top of the second, Franklin leading three to nothing. There's a called strike, one and two. Papura delivers, and this is hit in the air right back to Papura, who will make the catch for out number three. To the bottom of the second we go. Hopkinton leading Franklin three to nothing on H Cam. Bottom of the second inning, due up for Hopkinton, 9, 10, and 1 in the batting order. Nick Skiba, the right fielder. Vinny Papura, the pitcher, and Tommy Ambersoni, the center fielder. Hopkinton off to a three to nothing lead. And Skiba steps in and Padula set to deliver. There's a strike. Lined up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. O oh and two. Sounds like you got a little piece of it. Dula gets the sign he likes and deals. Down low. One and 
two is the count. There's a pitch outside, two and two. I'd imagine the Franklin Senior Ruth team had some competition from the two Franklin Legion programs. So I don't think you see all the greatest varsity stars Franklin has to offer on this team necessarily since they have the junior Franklin team and the senior Franklin team. And speaking of the Franklin Legion senior team, of course, independent baseball this year, they'll be taking hosting Ashland this Thursday. We'll have that game live for you on the HCAM YouTube page. Wind up and the pitch. Check swing, couldn't hold, throw to first, got him. One away. That'll bring up Vinny Perpura, the pitcher. That game will be a 7.30 start Thursday night at Franklin High School. We'll have it live on the HCAM YouTube, and of course airing later on HCAM Ed, HCAT in Holliston, and WACA-TV in Ashland. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Set to deliver, and he'll get a piece of this up the middle, past the reach of the pitcher, takes a hop to the shortstop, picks it up to throw over, not in time. A one-out single for Papira. Difficult play to make as it took a couple of big hops on the infield grass. And, of course, the turf gives the ball quite a bounce as it's hopping along. Yeah, so, a lot more bounce to it, but at least you don't have those crazy bounces. Right. Like you do on a cut field. And Versoni steps in and he'll take a strike. Amber Sony was hitting a 333 with a 500 on base percentage heading into this week. Grounded out his first time up, gets a piece of this one over to left field, foul territory, and the catch is made. Two away, runner on first, Ronnie Sheamus, the catcher, to the plate. I don't know if I got that on camera. My uh, my handle hit the fence, so yeah, hopefully. That's okay, we'll work with what we got. Work with what we got. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Sheamus gets a piece of this. That's ripped up the left side, and that's going to be a base hit. Two on, two outs. Drew Rankatori to the plate. Perpura advances to second. Well, the Hillers, from what I've seen so far, looking a lot like the high school team did last year. They love those two out rallies. Yeah. There's a called strike. Drew Rankatori, of course, was on the Ashland Post 77 squad last year. Big contributor to the state championship contending team. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll rip this one up the right side. That'll get through. Lead runner is going to be held up at third, so it'll be bases loaded, two outs for the Hillers. Perpura at third, Sheamus at second, Rankatori at first, Alex Barker hooked to the plate. The dangerous part of the lineup for the Hillers in progress. Padula set to deal. Swing and a miss. A big swing there by Barker Hook. A little bit ahead of that one. Alex had an RBI double in the first inning. Scored the first run of the game. Upstairs. One and one. Line up and the pitch, down low, gets away from the catcher. All the runners will stay put. Two and one. Well, I think one thing we could be sure of tonight is we won't have the sprinkler system come on and interfere with the game. Absolutely. Padula working from the stretch. And this is hit in the air, left side foul. 
You know, with this big monitor here, <laughs> that looked like it was coming towards my head. Well, it could certainly be deceptive when it's heading in that direction. Yep. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Outside. Full count now. Walk here would score a run for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch. That oh. hit him and a run will score. Vinny Perpura comes around to make it four to nothing. Seamus up to third, Rankatori to second, Barker hooked to first, Jack Breslin to the plate. Jack Breslin with an RBI single last inning. That made it a two to nothing game at the time. Down low. Jack Breslin came into the week hitting a 250 with a 400 on base percentage. Little upstairs there. Padula from the stretch. Down low. Three and O is the count. Walk here would of course score a run. He holds and takes strike one. Dula from the stretch. And this is ripped up into center field. One run is around to score. Here comes Rankatori. He will score as well. Throw to third. And they will not get Barker Hook. He is ruled safe. Two more runs are plated for the Hillers. A two RBI double for Jack Breslin. That'll bring up Connor Kelly, the third baseman. But first, the Franklin coach, Mike Langmayer, wants a word with his pitcher. Well, the bats are hitting for the Hillers in these first two innings, Mike. Yeah, you can definitely see the uh, difference in uh, hitting from both teams. It's quite obviously from my angle. But uh, this, is, this is what you expect from a Hiller team. Now, this is what we were supposed to be watching in April. Well, certainly is. Coming into the week, the Hillers as a team were just hitting at 250, but the last two games, those bats have been striking for sure. Connor Kelly at the plate had an RBI double to score the third run of the game in the first inning. And he'll get a piece of this one. Hit in the air over to left field and caught. And that will be the third out of the bottom of the second, but not before the Hillers plate three more runs. They lead it six to nothing as we head to the top of the third on H cam. Top of the third inning, Jake Blaney, the shortstop, steps in. As Papura set to deliver. There's a strike. 8, 9, and 10 do up for Franklin this inning. Blaney, Ellen, and Roderick. Shortstop catcher and first baseman. And pitch outside. One and one. Some warm up action for the Hillers. Mike Bernie getting loose in case. There's a strike. A lot of times in these senior Ruth games, they like to. Try to get guys in there as much as possible to get them some good experience. Swing and a miss. There's out number one and strikeout number six for Propura. That'll bring up Thomas Ellen, the catcher. Wind up 
Lineup and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Inside, one and one. Papira set to deliver. And this is hit up the middle, gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Four to three, four out number two. I'll bring up Eddie Roderick, the first baseman. First pitch in there for a strike. Fouled away. Oh, and two. And this is hit in the air right side foul. Off a pole. Count remains, oh, and two. Pura delivers, and that's fouled away. Hey, come on, Ben. A whole lot of fencing around the <laughs> right side uh, and netting to nice keep little the balls safety in the yard. Going on over there. Nice little safety features. It certainly is. It works well and saves a lot of cars. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three and out number three. Seven strikeouts for Vinny Perpura, who just continues to dominate on the hill in this game. To the bottom of the third we go. Hopkinton leading Franklin in senior Ruth baseball action, six to nothing on H Cam. Bottom of the third inning. Dylan Locke, the second baseman, steps in. Seven, eight, and nine do up for the Hillers. Dylan Locke, Ethan DeYoung, and Nick Skiba. First pitch of ball. Hillers have played three runs each in the first two innings. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs. Two and oh. He delivers. A little high there, says the umpire. Three and oh. This game. Just over an hour old as the Hillers offense has kept things going in the first couple of innings. This has popped up above the first baseman and he can't make the catch. That was hit sky high by Dylan Locke and actually it is a foul ball so he will go back to the batter's box. That went just foul fortunately for Franklin. As the majority of the field now covered in shade Hold on, it looks like he was just going to get a batter's helmet, so he will reach. Ethan DeYoung steps in, runner on first, no outs. So I'm heading back, thought he, it was ruled a foul, it was close to that line, checking at first, sliding back safely is lock. Ethan DeYoung has flown out so far in this game. He'll take a strike here. Padula working from the stretch. Fouled away. Well, I don't know, Mike. I mean, do you give that an error on the first baseman or a single? Well, are the... On the, uh, the pop-up. 
on the pump. Well, it was foul, so you can't give him a signal. Well, it wasn't foul. Walks at first. Oh, that. Well, I thought it was foul. foul initially, too, but I thought apparently it wasn't. Foul. He was going back to get a helmet, I believe. All right, so then I would definitely call that a uh, error. Yeah, Myself. I think you have to. I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, very gracious. I'm not very gracious with the uh, hits, so. Wind up and the pitch. There is strike three, one away. It's the second strikeout of the game for Ryan Padula. Nick Skiba will step in, the right fielder. Wind up and the pitch. A little high, says the umpire, one and oh. Lights are now on here at Hopkinton High School. That pitch inside. Two and oh on Skiba. Padula delivers a strike. Two and one. Padula from the stretch. And this is going to be hit in the air over to right field and caught. Throw to first, and the runner is back safe. Two away. That'll bring up Vinny Papura, the pitcher. He hit a single in the second inning and scored a run. Swing and a miss there. Nice fastball by Padula. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. One one pitch. Down low. Two and one the count on Papura. Padula deals outside. Three and one. No, you got about 80% of the field covered by a shade now. Everyone should be feeling good out there. Absolutely, it has cooled down considerably. There's a called strike, full count. Runner taking off from first as this is hit in the air over to center field to the fence and see you later. Or did it bounce over? It looks like a ground rule double. Vinny Perpura with the ground rule double. That'll score a run. And actually, it will not. Dylan Locke will have to retreat to third. So ground rule double. Locke retreats to third. Perpura over to second. Score remains six to nothing. And Tommy Ebersoni will step in with a big opportunity here. That was close. That landed right in front of the fence, nearly out of the yard. Fouled away. Papura showed off the power with that shot, Mike. That was a nice launch. There's a ball. One and one. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and two on Amber Sony. 
Bristoni has grounded out and flown out so far in this game. He'll file that one away. Count remains one and two. Block at third, Papura at second after the ground rule double. Two outs in the inning. That's fouled away. Battle with Tommy Ambersoni continues for Ryan Padula. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs. Two and two. Dula set to deal, and Ambersoni will put this up the right side. That's a fair ball. Here comes Dylan Locke to score, and right behind him is Perpura, and he will score as well. A two RBI single for Tommy Ambersoni. It is now an eight to nothing lead for the Hillers, and Ronnie Sheamus will come up to the plate. All runs for Hopkinton have scored with two outs in the inning. I'm sensing a pattern here. It certainly has been for this game, and it was for the team last spring as well as taking off from first is Amber Sony, and actually that hit Sheamus. So it's two on, two outs. Drew Rancatori to the plate. Chance to really open things up here with an 8 nothing lead. So it looks like he's uh, called him out for not getting out of the way. Huh. Oh, still up. Nope, they're gonna send him back to the plate. I guess initially it was ruled that it hit him, but I guess he, he maybe one of the back. umps said it was a foul ball. Well, he said he wouldn't get out of the way, so he didn't try uh -huh. to avoid it. Maybe we'll that's go with that. Rule. He didn't try to get out of the way, I guess. Oh, I remember I used to have to duck into him. So I used to get on base when I was playing baseball. Right. <laughs> Lead into it. <laughs> That's how a lot of guys do it, especially uh, with the Hillers. They're not afraid to take one for the team. Yeah. Seamus fouls this one away, right towards Mike's car. I brought the Audi today. It better went the other way. <laughs> I parked all the way towards the back, just in case. Padula deals. Sheamus gets a piece of this. Up the right side, into right field it goes. He's aboard with a base hit. Well, I think he'd rather have the hit over the hit by a pitch anyway. Drew Rancatori will step in. Two on, two outs. Two more runs already in, in the inning for the Hillers, who lead it eight to nothing on this bottom of the third. And now we'll get another mound visit from the Franklin coach, Mike Langmayer, who's gonna take the ball this time. And it looks like we'll have a pitching change for Franklin. We are in the bottom of the third. Hopkinton leading Franklin eight to nothing. And it looks like Sean Early is gonna move over from third base to take over on the mound. So Padula and Early will flip flop and we'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Hopkinton's Senior Ruth Baseball on HCAM. New pitcher for Franklin. Sean Early is now on the mound. He moves over from third base. Ryan Padula takes over at third base. As this is hit in the air, foul territory towards us. And it is not going to be caught. A good effort by Coleman Flynn, the left fielder. Just couldn't get there. Drew Rancatori at the plate. He is 0 for 1 today. He reached on a fielder's choice and single, but has scored two runs. Line up and the pitch. A little high there. One and one. Early set to deal. Outside. Two and one. 
Alex Barker hooked to up next. Shall Rankatori reach? From the stretch. And this is ripped into right field. That'll drop in for a hit. Being waved around and scoring is Ambrosoni. Sheamus held up at third. An RBI single for Drew Rankatori. That'll bring up the cleanup man, Alex Barker Hook, who is one for one today. He was also hit by a pitch. He's drove in a run and has scored a run. Looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter here. <laughs> Stepping in to hit for the Killers is going to be Austin Summers. Swing and a miss. Big swing there by Summers. Well, it's an eight. Now a 9 nothing lead. Coach Simos going to give everybody an opportunity to get into this game. That pitch inside. One one pitch. Down low. Hmm. Early from the stretch. There's a called strike. Two and two. Austin Summers and his First plate appearance. I'll take that one down low. That'll fill up the count. Runners on the corners, two outs for the Hillers. And they've plated another three runs in this bottom of the third and lead it nine to nothing. Early from the stretch. And this is ripped up the middle. Gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first in time. Six to three to retire the side, but not before the Hillers plate yet. Another three runs. And we will head to the top of the fourth with Hopkinton leading Franklin nine to nothing on H Cam. Top of the fourth, all kinds of changes for the Hillers. Mike Bernie takes over on the hill. After Vinny Papura went three solid innings, giving up no hits, seven strikeouts, no runs, and hit a batter. In right field, Garrett Morrissey takes over. At second base, Scott Pagliuca takes over. Stepping into the plate, top of the order for Franklin, Coleman Flynn, the left fielder. Wind up and the pitch, there's a bunt, and it's caught. One away. Vinny Jerry Collins, the second baseman, will step in. Top of the fourth inning, a 9 nothing lead for Hopkinton. Bernie set to deliver, swing and a miss. Lined up and the pitch. Solid strike there, 0 oh and 2. Bernie deals, down low, 1 and 2. Bernie for, delivers. Upstairs on the breaking pitch, two and two. Wind up and the pitch, and this is up the middle, back to Bernie, picks it up, throws the first, two away. That'll bring up Liam Larravee, the center fielder. 
Well, Mike Bernie making both out so far in the inning. Upstairs. Mike Bernie on the season has worked two innings. A 3.50 ERA. And he'll deliver a strike there, one and one. He's given up one run heading into this game and struck out two. So that one's fouled away, one and two. Lined up and the pitch, and this is going to be a slow roller up the left side, picked up by the shortstop, throw over, is going to be off the mark and get away from the first baseman. Larravee going to keep going to second base, throw to second base, did they get him? Yes, they did. So Liam Larravee reaches on the single, then thrown out at second base to retire the side in the top of the fourth to the bottom of the inning we go. Hopkinton leading Franklin 9 to nothing on H camp. Stepping in is a pinch hitter, it looks like. Or actually, no, that is uh, Jack Breslin, excuse me. Trying to get a clear view of the number. We'll have to confirm. He's taken a couple pitches so far. And the count is 2 and 0, oh, and that is indeed Jack Breslin, who is 2 for 2 so far today. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs, 3-0. and oh. Hiller is leading 9 to nothing as we enter the bottom of the fourth. Sean Early set to deliver. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Breslin adding to his stats big time in this game. At 16 at bats, heading into the week on the season with a 250 batting average, and now draws a walk here. So he has reached base to all three plate appearances. Connor Kelly will step in. Connor Kelly, one for two, had an RBI double, a stolen base, and has flown out today. And it'll take a strike. Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian, happy to be with you for Hopkinton Aylers Senior Ruth Baseball. And they are currently leading nine to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth against Franklin as this is hit in the air over to center field and caught one away. Liam Larravee having to backpedal towards the fence to make that catch. Dylan Locke, the second baseman, due to step in. And it is indeed going to be Scott Pagliuca who took over as the second baseman, hitting in the place of Locke. And he will get a piece of this one and drive it into center field for a base hit. Two on, one out as Breslin advances to second. And now Ethan DeYoung do up the shortstop. Well, players wearing masks in the batter's box today. Early deals, there's a called strike. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Oh and two, the count on DeYoung. Inside, look out. One-two pitch. 
Couldn't hold, strike three, two away. Hitting in the place of Nick Skiba, we're gonna have Garrett Morrissey, took over in right field last inning. And he'll get a piece of this one right side, and it is caught. For the third out, we'll move along to the top of the fifth. Hopkinton leading Franklin nine to nothing on H cam. Top of the fifth inning, a nine to nothing lead for a Hopkinton. Stepping up for Franklin is Jonathan Turner, the right fielder. Mike Bernie in his second inning of work. Wind up and the pitch inside. One and oh. Bernie set to deliver. And this is going to be a fair foul ball. That was close. Might have to call the plate or something. One and one. Bernie delivers inside. <laughs> Two one pitch. Down low. Three and one is the count. And there's a walk. It'll bring up Sean Early, the third baseman. Is that the first walk this game for uh, Franklin? First walk of the game. There was a hit batter earlier. Yeah. One hurts less. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. One on, no outs for Franklin. They have some work to do to try to get back into this game, trailing nine to nothing. And that's a foul tip, O oh and two. Bernie from the stretch. Runner with a slight lead at first. And this is hit high in the air, right side. And it is going to drop fair. And the throw to second to try to get the lead runner. And they got him. Well, Jonathan Turner didn't like that decision, but the umpire ruled him out. Yeah, all he had to do was tag the base. You know, it was a force. That is true. And I don't think the Turner realized that. <laughs> So was he looking for a little infield in, in, in fly rule or something? Or, I, uh, so I'm going to say early reached on the fielder's choice there. Jacob yeah, Morgan definitely will step choice. in. Yeah. That was a complicated catch to make. As that was hit pretty sky high. Checking at first, runner back safe. Bernie delivers, swing and a miss. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss, so and two. Bernie looks at first and is set to deal. Swing and a miss, out number two. Yeah, that was low inside, he wasn't reaching for that. Now bring up Ryan Padula, started the game as the pitcher, now over at third base. One on, two outs. 
Checking at first, runner back save. There's a strike. It's Padula's second plate appearance. He flown out back in the second inning. And this is right back to Bernie. Throw to first and not a problem. A one to three out to wrap up the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the inning we go. Hopkinton nine, Franklin nothing on H cam. Bottom of the fifth inning, Mike Bernie stepping into the batter's box. Pitcher for the last couple of innings for Hopkinton. Sean Early on the mound for another inning of work. It's his third inning of work. And he'll deliver ball one. 10-1 and 2 do up for Hopkinton this inning. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one. In Massachusetts Independent League Baseball play, Ashland captured the 11-2 victory over Dedham this evening in Dedham. So the Ashland Sevens keeping things rolling. They are now 10 and one on the season. One and two, the count on Bernie. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, two and two. Early delivers, inside, that'll fill up the count. Tommy Ambersoni do up next. Line up and the pitch, inside and there's a walk. Mike Bernie will head to first base, Tommy Ambersoni to the plate. Early delivers, and this ball is hit in the air to right field. That'll get down for a hit. Bernie heading over to third. Will they wave him around? No, they'll hold him up at third. And it's a double for Tommy Ambersoni. Two on, no outs. Ronnie Sheamus to the plate. Sheamus is three for three on the day. A trifecta of singles in this game. He's also scored a run. Early delivers, and that hit him. Ouch. That'll load up the bases for Hopkinton. And now Drew Rankatori was set to step in. And he will. <laughs> Back him up. Rankatori is two for three on the day. He scored a pair of runs and has an RBI. He'll take strike one. Oh and one. Bases loaded, no outs for Hopkinton. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Fouled away, 0 oh and 2. Frank Atori heading into the week was hitting a 500, 481 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. 
Upstairs. Hmm. Early delivers. And this is fouled away. Count remains one and two. Deals. Swing and a miss, and Rankatori will go down by way of the K. That'll bring up Austin Summers. Summers 0 for 1 at the plate today. Came in the game for Alex Barker Hook, who was in the DH role. I'll take ball one. Jack Breslin due up next. Down low. Two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, three and oh. Well, with the 3-0 count, bases loaded, I'm holding my swing here, Mike. Early set to deliver. There's a called strike. Summers thought he had the walk. Three and one. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away, that'll fill up the count. Mike Bernie at third, Tommy Ambersoni at second, Ronnie Sheamus at first. One out in the inning for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch, and this is fouled away. Early delivers. Did he grab a piece? No, out number two. Second straight strikeout from Sean Early. That'll bring up Jack Breslin. Breslin two for two on the day is also walked. He's driven in three runs and scored a run. Chance to do some more damage here with the bases full of Hillers. One and oh. Line up and the pitch, and this is up the right side, foul. One and one. Line up and the pitch. Down low, two and one. Early trying to work his way out of a jam. Hillers at one point had bases loaded with no outs. Breslin has something to say about that. Up the middle and through it goes. One run is in to score. Ambersoni going to be waved around. And two runs will score. A two RBI single for Jack Breslin. And that is going to bring up Connor Kelly. Unless the mercy rules go into effect here. We'll see what they decide. And it looks like the mercy rules are going into effect. So that is going to do it.
The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take the win over Franklin via Rule of the Mercy. 11 to 1 is the final as the Hiller is able to plate two runs on the two RBI single by Jack Breslin. The Hillers in total during the game ended up having 17 hits as they plate 11 runs. They commit one error as they are able to take down Franklin 11 to nothing here at Hopkinton High School today. An impressive shutout win by the Hillers. And they are going to improve to 7-3 and 1 on the season. Franklin falls to 2-8. Eight and one as the Hopkinton Hillers take down the Franklin Panthers via a mercy in the fifth inning. The final score for the final time, Hopkinton 11, Franklin nothing. Mike, an impressive performance with the bats by the Hillers today. I tell you, I love the sound of it. I mean, they started off strong right from the very start, right from the first inning on, and it just continued through. It just seemed like that uh, Franklin could not seem to get the timing of either pitcher. And uh, the bats, I mean, they were either swinging a little early, a little late. Um, not too much success for the Franklin side, but to, to what you mentioned there, this is probably their third team. The other two teams are playing uh, Legion and something else, you said? And it's all about so. just giving those kids experience That's out it. there. And nothing wrong with it. Both teams hitting the field, having some fun. Of course, Hopkinton may be a little more fun as right. they take down Franklin 11 to nothing. For Mike Tarosian on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Senior Ruth Baseball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for tuning in, folks.